Okay, so here are dopamine, dopaminergic pathways in our brain. Um, let's go through them one by one. And it gets a little bit confusing, so as long as you remember these diagrams and what inhibits what uh, and what stimulates what, you should be fine. But I'll give you a general overview. So our direct pathway, what you need to know is that it increases movement. And our indirect pathway is responsible for inhibiting movement. So if, let's say, we're putting a deep brain stimulating device in, we really want to stimulate our indirect pathway, right? We want that shaking to stop. But we also need our direct pathway to induce movement. So let's start with how movement is induced. So the cortex is one of the stimulators for our striatum. Our striatum here, STR, is our control center for whether we're causing movement to happen or not. And this is the control center for whether we're causing the direct pathway to go or the indirect pathway to go. So let's say our striatum pumps and goes through our direct pathway. Okay. So our direct pathway, we have inhibition of GPI, globus pallidus internus. Okay, now we're inhibiting this, so now it can no longer inhibit our thalamus. Okay, and if our thalamus isn't inhibited, it can now go ahead and feed back into the cortex and cause movement. Okay, so I know this can be a little confusing with inhibiting the inhibitor, but just follow the pathway along and you should be able to get to the end result. Next, let's say we're, our cortex stimulates our striatum into inducing the indirect pathway. So our indirect pathway is a little bit extra, a little bit longer. And what happens is our striatum in our indirect pathway goes through our globus pallidus externus and it inhibits it. So each time our striatum acts, I'm going to put it in red, it's an inhibitor. All right. So now that our globus pallidus externus is, not, is inhibited, it can no longer inhibit the subthal subthalamic nucleus. So if it can't do that, our globus pallidus internus, which causes negative uh, action on our thalamus, is free to go ahead and inhibit the thalamus. Now the thalamus can uh, no longer go ahead and activate the cortex, which causes our movement. So if we're stopping this, right, our GPE, globus pallidus externus, uh, which is also supposed to inhibit movement, by stopping the subthalamic stimulation of GPI um, doesn't work anymore. So we have our GPI acting. Remember, so our GPE and our GPI both cause negative signals. So this whole striatum, GPI, GPE, just remember they are inhibitors. And let's highlight our stimulators in green. So our subthalamic nucleus, our thalamus, and our cortex are both are all stimulators. So we have our stimulators here in green and our inhibitors in red. Okay, as long as you remember which one of these is a stimulator or an inhibitor and which, which order they go in, you should be able to memorize this pathway pretty easily. All right, so let's go out through the substantia nigra and act on these pathways, okay? So the substantia nigra produces dopamine, right? And you need dopamine for smooth flowing movements. And so our substantia nigra is also causing us to be able to move. So whether it's acting on the direct or it's acting on the indirect pathway, you'll see that it's inducing movement, right? So in our direct pathway, in which we're causing movement, our substantia nigra has a positive effect. So it acts via the D1 receptors, which are uh, stimulatory onto our direct pathway, and our direct pathway then results in movement. If we have our substantia nigra pumping dopamine onto our D2 receptors here, which are responsible for our um, indirect pathway, we have these D2 receptors causing an inhibition of the indirect pathway. So our reduction in movement is essentially stopped. So we have more movement, okay? So here our substantia nigra is inhibiting the indirect pathway and stimulating the direct pathway via the specific types of dopamine receptors that are activated in each of these pathways. So it pumps dopamine and dopamine that works on D2 as well as D1. And you can see that it inhibits D2, causing the inhibition of the indirect pathway, and stimulates D1, which activates the direct. And here's a little summary diagram. So the green sh uh, shows you which um, are the stimulatory mo molecules. So here we have our glutamate, which are corresponding to our cortex, to our striatum here. And uh, our inhibitory signals are conducted via GABA. So just when you're looking through these diagrams, green is glutamate, red is GABA, except for when we're stimulating and inhibiting our dopamine. Those are dopamine signals. So here is a combination diagram that hopefully helps you simplify this concept.